Welcome to MEM 18072, Manufacture Fluid Conveying Conductor Assemblies. In this presentation, we'll be looking at field attachable fittings. First of all, let's have a look at resources. Don't forget to check the resources folder of your PMoodle account for all the latest documents, videos, and student resources. If you haven't already done so, download the work instruction for field attachable fittings. Before we begin, let's have a look at hose tail identification, crimp style and field attachable style. Let's start with the crimp style hose tails. In this example, I'll be selecting hose tails for the R1AT single wire braided rubber hose. I downloaded this data sheet from www.pertech.com.au. I have established the type of hose. Now I'll need to uh, verify the inside diameter of the hose or the bore diameter of the hose. In this case, it's 3 8 which corresponds to a dash 06. Remember, the dash numbers are sixteenths of an inch. So 6 sixteenths equals 3 8. In this presentation, I'll be utilizing my hose tail identification template. So if we look here under hose size, I've selected uh, dash 06, which is 6 sixteenths, which is 3 8. So it's a dash 06. So I enter 06 into that column. Here's an example of a cross-reference table for hose sizes. And again, 38 equals dash 06. Now I will need to determine the series. Again, if I go back to the hose data sheet, we can see here Pertec K series is up to 5 eighths of an inch and Pertec J series is to 3 quarters of an inch. 38 is less than 58, so I'm a K series. So I enter K in the series template. The angle of my hose tail. In this particular case, the angle is one because it's straight. So I enter one in my angle template. We now need to identify the thread and the uh, connection type on the end of the hose tail. If you remember from our adapter identification presentation, we need two bits of information or three bits of information uh, to identify thread type and connection type on the adapter. In this case, I was able to identify the threads per inch, the outside diameter and the seat angle. According to my chart, 37 degree seat angle coming along to JIC-09. If you are not familiar with the thread identification procedure, stop this video now and review the adapter identification presentation before continuing. We have identified our thread as a dash 09, which is 9 sixteenths. So we uh, type in dash 09 in the fitting size template. If we reference the Pertec configuration codes for hose tails, we know that we're a JIC female straight, so that's a JF1. We have already determined that the angles are one, so all we do is we type in JF for the configuration. So we're a JF1-09 06K, and that's the first hose tail identified. Let's now go to the Pertec catalog to confirm my selection. And yes, it's a JF1-0906 K. Now let's have a look at the field attachable hose tails. These are sometimes referred to as reusable. Let's return to the hose data sheet. Let's go down to the bottom and here we go, reusable, RN1. If we refer to the Pertec technical information, an RN1 
dash 06, which is 38, is an F series. So the only difference from our crimped host tail and our field attachable host tail is the last letter. We're going to change the K to an F. Let's have a look at our template. The configuration is still a JIC female, JF. The angle is still one, which is straight. Fitting size is still a dash 09, which is 9 sixteenths, JIC 9 sixteenths. 9 sixteenths UNF to be specific. Uh, hose size 06, which is 38. And now the series is F, which is field attachable. Let's go to the catalog. Yep, part number's good. JF1 09 06 F. Oh, hang on a minute. Feral ordered separately. Looks like we have to order the feral as a separate. So let's look that up. Referring back to the parts catalog, F series hose tail refers to an RN1 that looks familiar. So it's an RN1 06. 06 is 6 sixteenths, which is 3 eighths, all size on the hose. So it's an RN1 06. There's a few things here to remember. So let's create a little table. So the field attachable hose tail straight is a JF1 0906 F for field. The field attachable hose tail straight feral is an RN1 06. Field attachable hose tail 90 degrees is a JF9 0906 F. And a field attachable hose tail 90 degree feral, which is the same as the straight one, is a RN1 06. Let's make the hose using the field attachable hose tails. First thing I need to do is measure my length of my hose. I could be measuring for a replacement hose for an existing hose. I can measure it uh, taking an overall length. I can take another measurement from seat to seat. The actual hose cutoff length can be already worked out for me. But in our example, we're going to have to work it out. In my example, I've measured the hose from seat to seat. The A lengths on the hose tails will have to be deducted from the measured length to get the hose to the correct seat to seat length. In this case, the seat to seat length minus A1 minus A2 equals the hose cutoff length. Sometimes we can get the A lengths from parts catalogs and sometimes we have to measure the A lengths. In the case of the Pertec field attachable hose tails, we're going to have to physically measure the, the A dimension. Measure carefully as there is a standard tolerance for hose lengths. Cutting the hose, you can be using a cutoff saw or various other devices. Keep in mind, it's very important to keep the edge within five degrees of square. Here's a couple of examples of cutoff machines. On the left, we have a fixed cutoff machine. On the right hand, we have an angle grinder fitted with a, a rubber hose cutting wheel. After cutting the hose, don't forget, we need to clean the hose. Use a foam pellet or use compressed air. If you're using compressed air, make sure the air is dry and clear of oil. Let's fit the field attachable hose tail. Lubricate the hose with some oil, hydraulic oil, ideally. Place the ferrule in a vise and secure. Don't over tighten the vise as you'll distort the ferrule. Use vise guards when practicable. Screw the hose in anti-clockwise until the hose bottoms out in the ferrule. The ferrule has a left hand thread. This is easily identified by looking straight on at the ferrule. And if the thread rises to the right, it's a right hand thread. If the thread rises to the left, it's a left hand thread. 
So the ferrule has a left hand thread. After the hose uh, bottoms out in the ferrule, back it off half to three quarters of a turn. Create some alignment marks. This will help us check for unintended movement during assembly process. Let's screw in the hose tail. Firstly, let's lubricate the hose tail with some hydraulic oil, then clamp the hose and ferrule assembly in the vise. Do not over tighten the vise as you could distort and damage the ferrule hose assembly. Use vice guards or custom built clamping devices for this process. The hose tail has a right hand thread, so screw into the ferrule hose assembly until you can't go any further, then use the correct fitting spanner to wind the hose tail into its final position. Clean the hose again and check for correct alignment. Use a foam pellet gun as specified by the Pertec work instruction or use clean, dry, compressed air to clean the hose out. Test the hose as per standard or customer requirements. Refer to the hydrostatic proof testing presentation and video for details on proof testing of hoses. Don't forget to tag or complete any documentation as required by work instructions. Always cap and seal hoses to ensure that no foreign contaminants enter the hose and then eventually enter the hydraulic system.